In this video, I want to show you how to create your own cartoon from scratch using all-in-one video generation tool, Focal ML. I already made video about basic features of this service, but first of all, it got some updates. And this time, I'll start from blank project to have maximum control over different visual elements. After signing up, click on Enter app to see all the project creation options available. Here you can create your script from short description. It will be generated by ChatGPT. But before creating script now, you can choose target duration. Decide if you want to make video with dialogues or with voiceover, which will explain what is happening on the screen, for example. Template allows you to add some example video from YouTube, so Focal will try to make the same video structure. But there are few problems. After creating script and setting basic things like visual style, main characters, voices, etc., draft of your story will be generated scene by scene. This will cost you some credits, but in many cases, you'll regenerate images if they don't match your expectations, and the video generation costs even more. So for example, on the free plan, it's impossible to make even one minute long video. So you can use standard script generation feature if you don't have detailed vision of how your video should look. But instead of creating project in standard way, go back and create blank project. Yes, you'll have to create and fine-tune each scene manually, but result will also be much more predictable and you'll be able to avoid typical character consistency problems you have to generate or upload image to create scene. But if you want to save credits, you should generate images for free somewhere else. I'll use FluxDev model in Leonardo AI to create images in 3D cartoon style. There is also Flux Schnell, which is obviously faster and cheaper, but quality is lower. For example, I want to get images of my main character. You can see that generation cost is high enough so you can create several generations per day. But ultra high quality images are necessary for close-up shots because all the imperfections of the face details or other objects can be too obvious. You can see that images created with FluxDev are almost perfect. Now I'll use all the same settings, but with Flux Schnell, this generation will cost four times less. And you can see that these images don't look much worse compared to previous generations. I can even say that the alien tropical plants, which I mentioned in the prompt, look better than in previous cases. But the skin of the character looks plastic, for example. On the other hand, landscapes can be generated with any other model because small details can be less important in such cases. Here is forest generated with Flux Flux Schnell. And for comparison, the same forest by FluxDev, there is much more depth and looks more cinematic. And don't forget about Flow State, which allows you to generate up to 300 free images per day using Flux Schnell. I also have short but detailed overview of this tool. Sometimes you can get really good result here. What about character consistency? It's not such a big problem when we talk about cartoon characters. Detailed description of the appearance and clothing can be enough in many cases. Probably you won't need special tools. By the way, character reference option in Leonardo AI is paid only. You can check out my video about character consistency. There are a few different options how to create different images of almost the same person. Such special tools are crucial if you work with ultra-realistic characters. There's another option for free image generation in any possible style. If you ran out of free credits on all your accounts in Generator you often use, you can try Recraft AI. It has lots of image generation tools, but there is really good style reference option. Here you'll get 100 initial credits and 50 free credits every day. Each generated image costs one credit. If you want to copy style of some image, you have to add it to the canvas. You can add up to three images to the canvas per day. Then open the list of available models and create your style. You can use one or more images as reference. Style category will be defined automatically. In my case, I can change illustration to realistic and it won't affect the results significantly. Now you can generate or modify images with your style. You can create up to two images in one generation or use bulk creation option. I have to select custom style again. Here you have to enter prompts for each image, and don't forget to set right aspect ratio. Style reference in general means that the overall structure, textures of the objects, and of course colors will be copied. Of course you won't get 100% the same style you could get using the original model, but I like what I see. Additionally, you can use palettes to define the exact colors you want to see in your images. And there's also image expansion tool which is called Frame. Create frame, place the image inside it, select frame, not the image. Choose model, enter prompt. For some reason generated picture can become a little bit too dark. To prevent this, I imported colors from this image and made them brighter. But result can be still too dark. In such cases, I just overlay parts of the original image over generated one in Photo P, free online Photoshop clone. Here are these images in different layers. I made the original image visible, and you can see that it's still brighter than than expanded one. I added raster mask to the original image, inverted it, and made visible only some parts of it, so there's no harsh border between overlaid images. 
Now you have everything you need to create base images for each scene of your video. I'll upload my images here. Of course, if you have already generated videos, you can add them too. Wait until the files will be uploaded and then add them to the timeline. Then you can go to the settings and select video generation tool you want to use here. Of course, models with higher quality would cost more credits and generation process will be slower. You can use higher quality models for face close-ups or scenes with dynamic motion, for example. In other cases, cheaper models can be good enough. Focal still doesn't provide access to lip sync options inside the video generation models. Maybe because of limitations of API of these services, I don't know. So you have to specify in the prompt that the character is talking. This probably won't replace real lip sync, but at least it's better than listening to dialogue while mouths of the characters don't even open. If you click animate button, there will be three automatically generated descriptions of what should happen in this scene, but you can enter your own description if none of them match your goal. Video editing timeline can be laggy sometimes. In some cases, you may not like the generated video. It can mismatch the prompt or some artifacts can appear or whatever. You can generate another variation. In this case, second video is even worse than previous. So I found previous version in the list of generated media, restored it by dragging and dropping it to the timeline. You can generate sound effects with a short prompt. This option is from 11 labs as well as speech generation. Effect duration can be up to 20 seconds. For example, I want to get spaceship engine sound. Okay, not bad. I'll drag and drop it to the timeline. But for some reason, I don't hear this sound after adding it to the timeline. That's why I won't use this built-in focal video editor for bringing all the elements together. And here is speech generation option. Here is list of available voices. The problem is that it's pretty short, compared to number of available voices in 11 labs. Plus, you can generate new voices in 11 labs for free. In my case, I didn't find any childish or young enough voice in this list. So I'll download all the sound effects for different scenes. I saved them one by one because I didn't find bulk download feature for generated media. If you want to use 11 labs, you can go to text-to-speech where you can select one of these free voices or go to voice library. All the voices divided into different groups and you can use different filters while using search option. You can select language, accent, quality, gender, age, notice period. Is the period of time it will be available after the owner deletes the voice. In my case, it's impossible to find good voice for my character in the voice library. Every individual. Hey man, what's up? The only voice I found is just some kind of teenage voice, but it's available for paid accounts only. Hey, I'm Ethan and I would so I opened Voices tab and clicked on Add New Voice. On the free account, you can create up to three new voices. Here is Voice Design. In the prompt area, you have to enter description of the voice you want to get. The generated voice will read this preview text so you'll hear how it sounds. But you can't create childish voices directly. You can't mention children or too young age in the prompt. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. The night air carried whispers of betrayal. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. As you can see, each generation allows you to choose from three variations. If none of them is close to your goal, you can generate again. The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London f The night air carried- The night air carried whispers of betrayal, thick as London fog. If you like some variation, select voice and save it. Give it some name, add short description, and select language. So you'll be able to use it like any other voice. Click on Use button to open Text to Speech tab. So now you can enter text, then hit Generate button and save audio file to your device. I'll use CapCut to create final version of my video. CapCut is really useful if you are new to video editing. I created new project. Here is Import tab where you can add your media files. I added all my sound effects, character speech, and generated videos. Drag and drop each element to the timeline and place it where you want. Of course, I'm not a big expert in video editing. I'll just use some basic options of CapCut this time. Okay, all the videos are on the timeline now. I want to cut some unnecessary parts of some of these video clips. I use Delete Right button so the part on the right side of Timeline Axis is deleted. And I'll reverse this video. Okay, I edited all the video clips. Now I'll add the character speech. Each audio file should be placed exactly in the right place to match the lips movements. In some cases, I'll speed up my video clips to match the audio, but this will be a little bit later. Oh, what's that? Now I'll add sound effects. You can set fade in and fade out options for each audio here or here. Of course, volume can be edited on the timeline or here in the settings tab. This is too quiet. Nice. 
And in the case with the next scene with spaceship landing, I'll slow down the video because the scene is too short. So I selected the clip and in the settings opened speed tab. But you should be careful when slowing down your videos because they can become too laggy because the same amount of frames is displayed in the longer period of time. There are two slow motion features. You can apply one of them to fix this issue. I generated sounds of the forest, singing birds, footsteps, sounds, etc. Here is how look all the sound effects added to the timeline. All the audio files with character speech is on the separate timeline track, so I can mute all the other tracks and export the speech separately as WAV file. By default, all the exports appear in the download folder. I want to make the pitch of the voice higher so it will sound more like childish voice. I'll use some random free online service for this. I added my audio file with character speech. Here is how it sounds now. Okay, I'm almost there. Hmm. What's inside of these crystals? I'll make the pitch higher by one semitone. Hmm. What's inside of these crystals? This is probably the right way. Two semitones is too high, I think. This is probably the right way. So I'll save the result and add it to my video. Track with the original version of character speech will be muted. Here is new version, and I'll unmute all the other sound effects. This part of the speech is a little bit too loud, so I'll use split tool to turn down the volume separately. For example, minus 3.5 decibels. Oh, what's that? When you are happy with the result, you can export the video. I'll turn on video export and disable audio file export. Here are video export settings I always use in CapCut. Render time depends on the length of the video, amount of different elements and effects, etc. Here is the final result. Okay, I'm almost there. Hmm. What's inside of these crystals? This is probably the right way. Oh, what's that?